I'm promising that somewhere in the course of this book, I'm going to tell the reader, how come a normal, average, 17-year-old boy can look over a field full of dead bodies and not freak out? Lanceville youth author John Wilson has written 30 books, and many of them are set during times of war. As a successful Canadian author, John gives many inspirational and story-driven presentations, all rich with history and character. And whenever possible, he lets his audience help guide the conversation. Is a bullet a one-shot kill? Not if you miss. <laughs> Kids are a wonderful audience. If you're telling a good story, and if you're giving them the excitement, the adventure, the sense of being in a different place, doesn't matter whether it's a different planet or a different time period. The idea that other people in previous ages, like even hundreds of years ago, have gone through essentially the same things. You know, they don't realize that historical figures were actually real people and that their world was just as complicated and confusing as, as the world is for kid today. And that's what I try and bring out in my books, the, the, the fact that history isn't simple it's complicated, or at least it was complicated for the people who lived through it. He tries to keep his eyes fixed on the ground in front of him, but they keep being drawn to his right, where a solid wooden post is embedded in the ground. Ten men stand with their backs to the post, fidgeting nervously. Ten rifles lie on the ground before them. John is set to be one of the presenters at this year's Vancouver Island Children's Book Festival. He and eight other Canadian authors and illustrators will be in the event's new location, the downtown Nanaimo core, to showcase their books and interact with children and youth. Over the 25 years, 150,000 children on Vancouver Island have heard a Canadian author because of the festival. It's totally directed to children. Children may bring an adult, but it's aimed to kids. With authors of books such as Dance Baby Dance by Andrea Spaulding, Stanley's Little Sister by Linda Bailey, and Arthur Slade's Monsterology and Villainology, there are talented Canadian authors and illustrators coming to town for all ages of children and youth. A good book is a good book is a good book, and if it works, it works no matter your age unless the content's a bit too much. So it's going to be pretty terrific. Authors love it because they're treated so well when they come here. If you're watching this and you get excited because you can see the range of authors we've got, you can go to the Port Theatre or call the Port Theatre and order your tickets. That's a really new thing this year, and we're delighted to have their cooperation to do that. For more information, visit bookfest.ca. And while you're at the website, you can check out the 25th anniversary Bookfest art. There are 11 pieces in total, all donated by Canadian illustrators in support of Bookfest. And each original piece will soon be auctioned off on eBay. We have a few in our house, and they just bring joy to your heart. So uh, the, the auction will open the 28th, and it'll close uh, the day of the festival, May the 7th. In Nanaimo for Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.